Capricorn. I hope that you are doing well. So listen, just put up a little PSA. Feel free to check that out. Otherwise, I'll give you a quick recap. I was doing summer love readings, got Aries through Sagittarius done, and honestly, they made me sick to my stomach, and I'm not doing it to you guys. Spoiler alert, it was nothing good, okay? Full of, like, chaos, etc. And let's be honest, you can go to a thousand other gifted readers that will tell you if your ex is coming back, okay? Or what love is coming towards you. I need to remain authentic to myself and do what I do best and work on the internal, so... That brings me to our spread today. You guys are gonna kick it off with, drum roll, the masculine feminine spread, okay? Again, you can check out that PSA to find out more details if you're interested in personal, etc. But we are going to take your masculine energy, your feminine energy, put them in a little couples counseling room with the goal of reunion. Let's see what's going on. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, okay? No matter your gender, we all carry it. It is so critical that these energies are balanced and we can access and flow in between both. That is true wholeness. That is true divine union within. Not to mention law of attraction. What do you think we're going to manifest externally? Everything's a mirror, people. If you are whole, you will manifest your divine counterpart. If you're imbalanced, if your masculine is treating you like crap, not showing up for you, if your feminine doesn't know how to open her heart, what do you think your relationships are going to look like? Romantic or not, okay? Let me help you, all right? So with that said, let's jump on in here. Again, we're breaking up your masculine and your feminine energy. So when I refer to he or she, that's just what I'm saying. Again, doesn't matter your gender, guys. Okay, let's not get caught up in trivial bullshit, all right? We're talking soul level here. And I do see that straight up, okay, in the Capricorn Collective, your masculine is feeling unworthy, not good enough to accept love, okay? We're going to go into that. Let's get um, your feminine's energy on the board. Six of Swords. Yeah, your feminine is abandoning your masculine. Why? Because she also feels abandoned. Her counterpart isn't showing up, okay? Oh, you guys have such beautiful energy, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. You might have Cancer and Libra placements, some of you. Um, doesn't matter. Gemini too, maybe. Okay. All right. I can definitely see your feminine wants a new beginning. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So your masculine energy is showing up with the Six of Wands in the reverse. This is how he's feeling. This is how he views himself, his subconscious belief, his conditioned beliefs, okay? Uh, in the Timeless playlist, you guys can check out the father wound and the mother wound to understand deeper what goes on here, but I'm definitely seeing you probably didn't have a great mirror, okay, or guide when you were growing up as a child to help you develop a sense of self, self-confidence, self-identity, who are we? Let's see what else they want to see. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Lack of passion. It's um, feel of failure, okay? And it's kind of that energy. I know I'm going to fail, so why would I try? I'll hold myself back. I'm going to experience disappointment anyway, and it can be done privately. Nobody will see me fail keeping in the shadows. A lot of you may feel like you walked away from a lot of opportunities or you missed out on opportunities here. Yeah, shit. Okay. Regarding true love, maybe a healthy relationship. Okay. This is home energy. All right. And I mean, he's literally planting seeds here, nourishing the seeds that he planted, setting goals. Okay. Watching his intentions grow. Your masculine doesn't, again, believe that they can accomplish what they set themselves out to be, but also receive love. Trust that. A lot of you could have a mother wound where you don't know how to accept unconditional love. This is foreign to you. Therefore, you can't trust it. 
yeah judgment in the reverse scorpio energy here you just can't bring yourself to do it and so this is survival mode this is fight or flight this is i have to protect myself and keep myself safe even if i feel trapped or secluded or staying in a bubble yeah temperance Deep healing is needed. Deep balance is needed. Also, some of you might have like a father figure that's passed over that wants to help guide you. Yeah, work with you. Three of pentacles. Okay. But this is also just the divine in general. Your connection with spirit. I heard the Holy Spirit, but your spirit, okay, as well as the divine, the universe, God, whatever you prefer. Okay, look, yeah, look, and then the lovers in the reverse on the bottom. For a lot of you, this is a healthy union. You guys could be married for 25 years, but I'm looking at a Capricorn that does not feel enough or doesn't feel like their partner and them have like a deep connection or this unconditional love. Like it's very conditional. There could have been betrayal, trust issues, okay? And that's what it's stemming from, the feeling of unworthiness. If we don't know something, especially within ourselves, how can we believe it outside of ourselves, right? We can only accept and meet people as deeply as we have accepted and met ourselves, okay? I say that all the time. So let's look at what your... Actually, before I do that, I just want to see the main themes that your masculine wants to discuss. And then we'll check in with uh, your feminine energy and see what she wants to open up with. Give her a rebuttal, okay? I love these readings. They're my favorite, for real. Keep your temper, okay? So, exerting that masculine energy here. Toxic masculinity AF, okay? You may have been a witness to this in the past. And not just father issues, but I'm getting men in authority. Very aggressive, okay? What's that quote? Masculinity is not toxic. The absence of it is. Masculine men are spiritual and protective and loving. And toxic men are abusive and spiteful. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. A misuse of our emperor energy. Okay? A lot of aggression there. But again, that's what the safety zone has been known. Again, remember we were talking fight or flight. Okay, becoming braver. There it is, resilience. Hello, stepping into a leadership position, not allowing yourself to miss out. Your anger is within you. Everything is a mirror, Capricorn. So what pisses you off? What are you experiencing in relationships? How are you being treated? What's the world, okay? Don't fall into the poor me victim. Not to be confused with that you deserved that treatment, abuse, hardship, whatever you've been through. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is your healing is your responsibility. If you're watching this video, spoiler alert, you were meant to break this cycle. You have been chosen. All right, let's open up with your feminine. So again, she just wants to move on from the indecision, not being able to trust herself. This is gonna be about self-trust. Can she trust her masculine to keep us cool? To keep us safe okay in and out in and out energy you may have had like an in and out again figure ace of swords so communication is going to be huge for your feminine she needs to understand the truth have clarity have things broken down justice just fell out i told you some of you have a libra placement regardless this is just i need to know what's right your feminine just wants to live in peace in truth and honesty you may have grown up in like secrets or you may have had to um protect people okay especially if they were like abusive you protected them you it was yeah i'm getting chills it's definitely a lot of what's going on you couldn't be forthcoming or be your authentic self or even display the love that you wanted to display your feminine is telling me hey I know how to love, probably because you know what you've been missing. So you know what to give immediately. 
but it's been abused, taken advantage of, or like an illusion, okay? Yeah, the artist in the reverse. You have been waiting and waiting and waiting, and your feminine, I have to be honest, is pissed because she's like, we have missed out on opportunities. Uh, some of you might be like artists or very creative, um, starting a business, entrepreneurs. Regardless, it's just living in truth, living without the mask, expressing yourself, and realizing that your masculine energy, your strength, is in being vulnerable. There's conditioning here that's seen as weakness. Yeah, high priestess in the reverse on the bottom, with the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Your feminine is telling me, I have never been allowed to trust my instinct. It has always been survival mode. I've never been listened to. I've never been heard. And that's become probably the biggest betrayal for you guys at all. It's not just been the lying, the betrayal, the abuse, it's self-betrayal because you knew it. You knew it and you didn't listen. Your masculine energy was seeking outside of yourself and that broke your feminine's heart. I wonder what will happen next. Oh, that just fell. Okay. And that's like in the reverse. So spirit really is just like, stop thinking outside of yourself. One of my 10 vows, I talked about that reading and the PSA I did is it is not my business or responsibility how others perceive me. It's probably my hardest one, okay? Your feminine is like, if you won't take charge, I will. But then you are emotionally reactive. You need your masculine energy to self-soothe, okay? Otherwise, we're all determined we go out there and the second that our ego hurts or we are rejected, we turn back to anger. And we don't know how to display that in a healthy way because we've only seen one way. We've been put in a box. Does that make sense? Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. Again, clarity, okay? No more illusions. No more somebody said one thing, did the other. I'm getting a lot of like manipulation, gaslighting type of energy here that your feminine has had to, be, has had to deal with, okay? Or has been put through. Again, gender does not matter. A moment's regret. Yeah, nostalgia. And so your feminine very much gets trapped in the past. Some of you guys really might suffer with depression, PTSD, anxiety, things like this. Okay. Let's go back to your masculine. Uh, we're going to ask him just like his POV of what's been going on, how he's shown up, things like this. Okay, anything that he wants to say, kind of like an open floor type of a thing. Now we go from the six of wands in the reverse as the starting point with your masculine to the five of wands in the reverse, which is kind of interesting because we're going back to the past, right? So we're taking a step back here. Your masculine was just trying, again, fight or flight, man. They were just trying to avoid whatever was triggering their nervous system. Again, disappointment confrontation, aggression, danger is what I'm getting. This was survival. It wasn't personal. You didn't mean to harm yourself. You were in survival mode, okay? I mean, I'm really, like, I can almost hear your masculine crying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't ever able to let go. Some of you stayed in an abusive relationship or a toxic relationship. You lied to yourself. This is what I want. It could have been based in we're safe here, as in we're being financially taken care of, or trivial matters, okay? Really great sex life, or the person's hot. We stayed on the surface. Gemini energy showing up pretty strong, but it doesn't matter, okay? Especially not really in this reading, but... I'll say it for you guys. I know that we like it. Here's some Leo energy on the bottom with strength. This was a test for your masculine with the vulnerability to honor your feminine's truth, intuition, feelings about this. And it was looked the other way. Your masculine said to your feminine, you'll be fine. We're fine here. We're safe here. Shh. You look good. Really, it's a shut up and look pretty. Truly. But here's the mask. Here's the betrayal. Here's the deceit. I'm getting override, like your masculine just had to override the downloads that we were getting. And it's, un yeah, it's really unfortunate because secrets were kept. There could have been third parties involved on either side, okay? On your side, 
for sure. Maybe again, you didn't have that self-mastery, that self-trust. We were not happy. We knew we were settling. We were still trying to fill a void. Okay, it's possible. Or we attracted someone outside of ourselves that betrayed us. Getting a lot of secrets there. And your masculine saw it as strength to take it. I want to keep the peace. I'm keeping the peace. I can handle it. Put the burden on my shoulders. Okay? Heart in the right place, truly. Just really lousy coping skills or lack of resources. Okay? All right. Now you're feminine. All she ever wanted was commitment to yourself fulfillment happily ever after the ten of cups that's what she was seeking from within within yourself yes outside of yourself i'm sure i'm sure you guys were experiencing this in the relationship but it, remember again this is about internally your feminine wanted union your feminine wanted to be heard and at some point you thought you might have even have had that because you were so sure. You were putting yourself out there and you were like, this is it. We're going to be fine here. Some of you were trying to escape. Um, like you were trying to break cycles or you were trying to escape like an abusive home or something like this. You thought you were doing the right thing. You did the best you could with what you had. Yeah. But again, we were met with conflict. Now, remember your masculine. This was his energy. Okay. I'm just trying to avoid the conflict. Your feminine's just like, no, I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. We need to say this. We're not being treated right. We're being abused. I don't like the way this makes me feel. And again, that was hidden. We weren't able to express that. We weren't able, again, judgment in the reverse. Yeah. Your feminine's like, this is where I failed myself. King of Pentacles. Very money uh, image, okay? Keeping up with the Joneses, maybe. So in childhood, even, a lot of you may have experienced... All that matters is like stable home. You know what I'm saying? Like your basic needs, your surface level needs are met. Um, white picket fence, but like, just, I don't, I hate, all right. I got trash on the inside. I'm just getting it. How, I'm saying it how I get it. Um, <laughs> go watch the music video for Melanie Martinez's. Uh, oh my gosh, I just lost it. What song is that? I know you, Dollhouse. Mm -hmm. Just the lyrics of that, the music video, it's interesting. Uh, but this is what I'm getting. The lyrics are like places, places. Everybody getting their places, you know. Everything's about picture perfect, but then it's just like, you know, the dad's cheating, the mom's an alcoholic, everybody's a mess. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so your feminine's absolutely telling me I had to pretend for too long and it was painful it was hurt I did not have a voice is a huge thing here all right so again your masculine's telling us I was just trying to take care of ourselves keep a roof over our head provide uh I knew that we were hurting so I sought out happiness okay I'm gonna be straight up too uh I am getting like sexual satisfaction can't trust myself type of a thing okay there might be um either abuse in your background or you were taught that's what's important i'm just take that as you need it if you need a personal hit me up okay now currently with your masculine trying to figure out how to work with your feminine how to listen to what she has to offer has to say without i'm getting just like fucking up you know, or sinking the boat, the lifeboat. Princess of Swords here. One, sleeping with one eye open, though, your masculine is still in survival mode for sure. Okay, this could be absolutely just PTSD or trust issues. Okay, we can't trust ourselves. Therefore, can't trust others. Always on guard here. And again, it's still about surface. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, don't get me wrong, that's luxury. Okay, reaping the, the fruits of your labor. Some of you are very successful, okay, and what you do, but oh, I just heard, are you morally corrupt? Shit. 
Yeah, there's definitely unhappiness here. If you're in a relationship, you're masculine. The energy isn't a bad thing, but the way that your masculine is going about it isn't healthy. It's separate, which is great. We don't want to merge with our person, okay? That's tragic to make another person your home. They should be complimenting you on your same level for sure, okay? And there's deep unhappiness here because I can't find what I'm looking for. The true love that I long for. It's that missing piece. It's a void, okay? insatiable void is what I'm getting but we have the sun in the reverse and the moon it's really dark okay we don't know how to accept love that's the separateness it's not because we have a sense of self and we're independent okay that's some heavy energy Capricorn let me just take a deeper look with these oracles here it's about I look good my business is good my bills are paid everything's fine uh maybe you know i have a hot boyfriend i have a hot girlfriend you know every life is great but there's emptiness all must have prize yeah trying to please everyone i'm getting more of an impress everyone you could be a people pleaser for sure but i'm getting like seeking acceptance you know, wow, Capricorn, nice car, you know, and I get it. You guys are in our sign. We love the luxury. I get it. The comfort. You guys are very work motivated. I get it. I'm not knocking it, but balance. Yeah. Changed in the night. You have changed in the night. You have changed quickly. You guys may really have like this loneliness or again that void set in during dark hours that might be when you hear your feminine's cries the most um i feel like if you tuned in from the day to day it wouldn't just be cries it would just be information okay also some of you are feeling um complacent okay you're seeking more fulfillment and you might be trying to find that again in your work instead of with them all right now your feminine right now feels completely blocked we have the empress in the reverse okay your feminine knows who they are your feminine is kind of a badass to be honest when i tell you because of what you've lacked you know what someone else's heart needs it's beautiful it's gorgeous all your feminine wants is to give and receive love effortlessly but they can't your masculine won't allow it. Your masculine is separate. Your masculine is seeking externally. Your masculine sees emotion as weakness. And this has been going on for decades, right? So it's like, it is what it is, energy. I hate that. <laughs> Show me the empress in the reverse. I don't know how to love myself. That's what your empress needs. Yeah, the world. Wow. Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Okay, again, I'm not really trying to focus on the external, but I'm getting messages like some of you are relocating maybe for a job or you're do you're making a major shift for somebody else or for an external reason and your feminine's like, I fucking hate this, okay? Also, your feminine might be unhappy in a current relationship. Your feminine also feels put on hold, put on the back burner. You know, waiting for their emotions to be processed, waiting for their feelings to be processed. Hey, I know the secret to happiness. Can you listen to me? You're like, yeah, 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 I'll schedule you in for one tomorrow. Heartbreaking, devastating. You're showing me, I'm not heartbroken, I'm doing great. Life's great. Mm -mm. And you don't have to fake it. You don't have to live behind that illusion, that mask anymore, Capricorn. Okay. How your masculine sees your feminine, the lovers. This is my purpose. See, that's the thing. Your masculine loves as deeply as they know how. Again, we can only love and meet people as deeply as we love and have met ourselves. So for the surface, yeah, your masculine adores the shit out of you. I love myself. What do you mean? I'm a great person. Good. I'm glad that you know it. But really, 
seek that in. Also, your masculine wants to work with you. Again, we saw that in their current energy. They're trying to figure out how or where they, you know, drop the ball. Because again, this is all you know, conditioning. So it's like, we know something's wrong. We're searching, we're soul searching, but we can't put our finger on it. We're too close. But your masculine is absolutely ready for divine union to embrace yourself, to accept your emotions. There's, again, strength and vulnerability. This is where your masculine's gotta be, okay? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. Oh my goodness. The Knight of Wands. That's what I'm saying. This is surface level. So you might have a very healthy self-esteem. You might have like a hot body, okay? You're like, I know my worth, but do you know your soul? Do you know your soul's worth, your intimacy, your sacredness? Because I'm looking at a masculine energy that prides me on, I get the best of the best. I, you might, again, there's a lot of sexual stuff where it's like, I'm the best, you know, I'm head honcho here. Ten of Cups in the reverse. You are spiritually and emotionally bankrupt, okay? Even if you're in a dynamic. And I'm not even saying that the person's not for you. I'm just saying you feel separate, isolated from love, your partner, whatever that means. So, again, your masculine's intentions, as always, are pure. But a lot of growing to do. A lot of swallowing your pride and ego and allowing yourself to be vulnerable, to feel not that you have to relive anything Capricorn. Not that you have to re-experience it. Observe. Informational purposes. Okay? Yeah. Nervous, but I'm willing to try is what I'm getting. Okay? And that's all your energy too. Now, your feminine is saying, yeah, I've been told this before. This is a never-ending cycle. Again, I'm getting decades. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Uh, it's like... Um, Oh my god, this is totally like your feminine's like Belle and your masculine's like the beast. For real. Like, till the last petal falls type of a shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> your feminine's like, there's two more petals left. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, you both are pulling the Hierophant, okay? Yeah, your feminine is just like, what they view as commitment it's not what I want. I need more. It's minuscule. It's a prom king, prom queen type of an energy. I need more. I need, what is your love language? That's what I would recommend discovering within yourself. Okay. I'm also seeing your feminine is craving a connection with God, spirit, the divine, very spiritual, very, um, I know my morals. I know my faith. Hit me up for that 10 personal vow reading. If you need help discovering that, if you truly are drawing a blank, I've got you, life changing. I can't get enough of the re the spread we're doing now and the 10 vows, life changing. Anyway, that's what your feminine's showing me, the well in the reverse, the knight of cups in the reverse. I'm going against my morals. So you might be very popular, okay? Very attractive, receiving a lot of attention. It means nothing. And your feminine does. They have reservations on trusting you going forward. They do. There's there's a need to work on self-trust. And it looks like, yeah, page of wands. I don't want to get my hopes up. Temperance. Maybe in time. Yeah, I, I need to see action from my masculine. So this is going to require you to challenge yourself to... Acknowledge the emotion within. So maybe seek out therapy, okay? Do a real couples counseling session within your energies, okay? Um, yeah, your feminine needs to be honored, okay? Expressing emotion, being looking at the mirror, okay? Go within. Look at the reflection. Remember, everything external is a reflection. So if you're feeling lost... Evaluate your relationships, friendships, family members, coworkers, intimate. What do those look like? There's going to be a pattern, and I have a feeling for some of you, a lot of them are in turmoil or surface level. Okay, it's not a lost cause. And your masculine, king of swords in the reverse. I mean, he's saying, I won't do this. The star, 
four of pentacles the six of pentacles yeah it's breadcrumbing energy it's just like a little bit and then oh it's too much okay so you guys are missing the signs it's like you're not focused on anything else but the 3d that's great okay that you want a full bank account that you have goals that you seek things but you need to go within and not abandon yourself okay all right please send me an email if you'd like to schedule a personal reading like this i'd be more than happy to help you guys out um be good to yourself and i'll see you on the next one